Cronus was born into a family of titans. His parents were Gaia and Uranus, and he was known for having a mighty scythe or sickle. With this weapon, he overthrew his own father during the Golden Age of Mythology. Cronus eventually became the leader of the first generation of Titans. However, his reign came to an end when his own son, Zeus, dethroned him and imprisoned him in Tartarus as punishment. According to Plato, Cronus was one of the eldest children of Oceanus and Tethys, along with Rhea and Phorcys. This emphasizes his ancient roots and highlights his significance among the Titans. In Athens, they celebrated the Cronia festival on the twelfth day of the Attic month of Hecatombean to honor Cronus. This harvest season festival reflected Cronus' association with the Golden Age and his ongoing patronage over the harvest. Additionally, Cronus was often linked with the Roman god Saturn because of their shared attributes and association with time. Many Roman customs were influenced by the Greek myths of Cronus, reinforcing his legacy and significance in both cultures. Despite being dethroned and imprisoned, Cronus remains one of the most intriguing figures in Greek mythology as his story continues to fascinate people even in modern times. Cronus was always envious of the power his father Uranus held. He longed to be the king himself, but he knew he would have to take drastic measures in order to achieve this. One day, Gaia presented him with a stone sickle and convinced him to use it to castrate Uranus. Cronus was hesitant at first but eventually agreed to carry out the deed. Under the cover of darkness, Cronus snuck up on Uranus as he slept and attacked him with the sickle. The act was successful, and Uranus was left castrated and in pain. As a result of this savage act, blood dripped down from Uranus and created three different entities, the Gigantes, Irenes, and Melee. Cronus and Rhea then took over the universe, ruling together during a time known as the Golden Age. Everyone seemed to know what to do, and laws or rules were unnecessary. However, some authors claim that Ophion and Euronymy once ruled Olympus before being overthrown by Cronus and Rhea. Regardless of these claims, Cronus and Rhea maintained their rule over the universe until their children, including Zeus, overthrew them and became the new rulers themselves. Though their reign had come to an end, Cronus and Rhea left a significant impact on the universe, proving that power and control often came at a steep cost. Cronus, the powerful Titan King, had a dark secret. He had learned from his parents that his own children would one day overthrow him, and to prevent that prophecy from coming to fruition, he devoured his first five children. However, his wife Rhea was determined to save their sixth child. She secretly gave birth to Zeus in Crete and handed Cronus a swaddled rock, tricking him into thinking it was their son. Zeus was hidden away and raised in secrecy by a variety of caretakers, including a goat, a group of male dancers, and his grandmother, Gaia. Once he reached adulthood, Zeus wanted to fulfill his destiny and overthrow his father to claim the throne for himself. Zeus gathered his siblings and together they fought a long and epic war against the Titans, called the Titanomachy. In the end, the siblings emerged victorious and many of the Titans were imprisoned in Tartarus, while others were allowed to roam free. What happened to Cronus was a matter of speculation. Some stories suggest he was locked up in Tartarus along with the other Titans, while others claimed he was imprisoned in the cave of Nyx. There were even whispers that Zeus had castrated his own father, but this was a taboo subject and not widely shared until much later on. Despite the uncertainty surrounding Cronus' fate, one thing was clear, Zeus had triumphed and emerged as the new ruler of the gods. According to a fascinating Libyan account related by Diodorus Siculus, the Titans had different parents than those usually depicted in Greek mythology. Uranus and Titia were said to be the parents of the Titans, including Cronus and Rhea. In this tale, Ammon, the Libyan king, married Rhea but was eventually betrayed when she ran away with her younger brother Cronus. In an act of revenge, Rhea and Cronus convinced the other Titans to wage war against Ammon, forcing him to flee to Crete for safety. Cronus became the ruling power and ruled with a heavy hand, but his reign was ultimately short-lived. 
He was defeated by Ammon's son, Dionysus, who then installed Cronus and Rhea's son, Zeus, as the leader of Egypt. Dionysus and Zeus joined forces and took on the remaining Titans who had fled to Crete. After Dionysus passed away, Zeus became the king of all the kingdoms and the lord of the world. The Libyan account is full of fascinating details, providing a unique take on the Titans, their family relationships and the drama that surrounded their ultimate downfall.